Hi, and uh, thanks for coming to watch my vlog for August 24th, 2017. Uh, this is uh, Drew Hears, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been hearing today. So, as usual, I have woken up and um, had uh, quite a few uh, strange delusions going through my head. Um, so, today they were more, um, they were quite a bit more mild than usual. Um, they were just like a general kind of conversation between the uh, technicians that are placing these thoughts and words into my head. Um, so, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, after I did start wake up, waking up and moving around, though, um, they were quite insulting, um, did quite a bit to tear me down, um, also did quite a bit to um, get me up and out of bed. Um, now, um, right before recording this video, I actually uh, met with a bit of opposition. Um, the uh, voices started claiming they're members of my community and what they are doing is illegal. And that um, right now, doing this and revealing this is getting them in trouble. And what they are doing is trying to help me to deal with the coming um, psychotronic, electronic, um, sonar, electromagnetic harassment warfare. Um, and it is coming, people. It is coming. Um, I don't suffer from a mental illness. I don't suffer from um, confusion. Um, what I suffer from is uh, direct electronic harassment. Um, thoughts being put into my head, um, voices being put into my head, and um, <clears throat> really what has been on my mind over the past few years, by the way this has uh, been going on for almost two years now, um, really um, really, it's, uh, and I'll just go into a little background, in the beginning it was, um, their uh, main thing was to um, scare me into thinking I had schizophrenia to uh, go to a doctor and basically and then after the doctor gave me meds uh, to not take those meds and then to distrust the doctor and basically give me all the symptoms of schizophrenia um, they would have all these weird different little uh, conversations that didn't make very much sense um, a lot of religious delusions um, delusions of grandeur um, persecutory delusions all of the whole nine yards um, <coughs> I kind of figured out, though, that uh, this isn't a mental illness. This, what I am suffering from, is the direct result of someone using a machine that is designed with the purpose of implanting thoughts into a person's mind remotely, implanting voices into a person's mind remotely, and changing that person's behavior with the use of this. Uh, you tell me what's wrong with that. People are being turned into killers. Into hateful people with this technology. Uh, I, uh, now, here's, here's one argument that, um, that I like. Well, if it's not a mental illness, and if it's not all in your head, and it's not just arising from in your head, uh, that's what people like to ask me, then how are they constantly, um, how are they able to keep this, this ray, this beam of electromagnetic energy on your head? How are they able to do that? No matter where you go, where you walk, well, uh, obviously with uh, military technology, which is the largest part of the U.S. government's spending, is in the uh, Department of Defense. Um, most of that spending is confidential. Um, that's just uh, something to think about. But, um... I find that interesting. I, um, I actually read an article. Um, it just uh, was published yesterday. And uh, it is about uh, researchers from the University of Washington had developed a method to covertly track the activity of people in a room and in some conditions even beyond thin walls. So it's actually right now, now this is just, this is just an article on some mainstream internet. Okay, so this is Researchers convert consumer electronics into sonars to covertly attract activity of people. So, um, that right there says that since this article came out on the internet, that it's been going on for quite a bit longer. That we have actually known about this technology for quite a bit longer than it was posted. Um, you know, and I have heard of this before. This isn't the first time I've heard of this type of technology. But, um, yes, we are, we are all able to be watched by uh, our 
electronic devices emitting the sonar. Um, we're also so with military technology, how can how can something point a beam um, and keep it trained on something? Well, uh, it can it can be done. Um, you know, once the target is isolated, um, it's um, you know there's a lot of mechanics, robotics, um, a lot that goes into that, but it is definitely possible, um, and it definitely happens. It's a part of warfare. Um, just like um, just like anything else, you know. So we are tracked. It is all possible. Um, don't believe anything you hear about, you know. Oh, someone who hears voices might just be uh, mentally ill or they're dangerous. Um, those are lies. Um, but the war is coming, people. Um, people who hear voices that doesn't mean they were predisposed mentally to hearing voices. It doesn't mean that they are now suffering from a mental illness, um, more than likely, what it means is that they are the target of this technology, and we are being experimented on all around the world. Many of us are being talked into committing suicide once we know too much, or killing others, or having a psychotic break in public, um, which you know, these machines are also capable of inducing uh, symptoms such as anxiety, um, which will lead to a psychotic break under the right thought processes. Um, for example, um, right before recording this video, and this will, this will be my little story just to wrap up this vlog, right before getting down to recording this video, um, some of the, um, the conversation kind of turned to, oh my god, oh my god, we're in trouble. Oh my God! He can't do this. He can't do this. Um, he uh, he can't record this video. You know, we're members of his community. Uh, we're members of your community, man. We're members of your community. Um, having conversations not only amongst themselves but also talking at me, um, telling me that uh, I shouldn't do that. Um, so honestly. Watch out, people, because it's not a joke. This stuff will put thoughts into your head that you cannot control. You can't wear a tinfoil hat and get away from it. Now, if you're going to go out in public, if you're going to be in your own home and you don't have um, an EMP barrier around your home, you are susceptible to um, subliminal messaging is essentially what it is. Um, also, voices being put into your head um, to make you feel as if you're losing your mind. Um, one of their strategies in the beginning was to um, put the voices of those who sound like people that I know into my head, saying things that those people have said to me. Um, so I would think, oh, the person is in the next room, or what is that person doing here? And then I would look into it, and then they would be not there, or they wouldn't have said anything, or they would be asleep. Um, and, um, and as I found this out, they would not implant voices, but implant thoughts into my head, thinking, I must have schizophrenia. I would all of a sudden have this thought, I must have schizophrenia. I'm hearing things that aren't there. I need to go see a doctor. I need to get on meds so that I don't go crazy. These were the thoughts that I was having. They weren't voices. They were the thoughts that were being implanted. Now, what logical person thinks, you know, when they hear something that's not there, oh, my God, I'm losing my mind. Um, no, I mean, the brain and, um, you know, our bodies are not perfect, and they make mistakes, but... Um, it didn't take long for me to realize that it is a concerted effort against, um, I don't even know if it's against anything, it's just a concerted effort to see uh, how much control can be exerted. It's an experiment on um, you know, how, uh, how resilient the human mind is and what all can we do and what all can we get away with. And um, 
I thought a lot about what the end game is. People ask, you know, if people are really doing this and this is really going on, what's the end game? What do they have to gain? Um, you know, one thing is to um, completely clone the human brain, to potentially put the human brain into a um, into a microchip. Um, that way, we would be confined to bodies. I believe that all of this um, sort of experimentation is to indeed clone the human brain um, on a electromagnetic pulse, um, electronic level. So anyway, I can go into a lot. Um, long story short, um, you know, I've been listening to them, I've been taking notes, I've been paying attention to the things that they have said for uh, several years now. And, um, you know, one of the things that I feared was that uh, upon revealing them, um, they would realize something and they would either, um, they'd either have to, um, kill me, uh, abduct me, or um, just stop altogether um, and hope that, you know, I don't keep revealing this stuff. So, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, you can't be afraid of that stuff, people. Um, the war is coming. This technology does exist. Um, be ready for it. Thanks for watching.